most dominant player to ever step on any athletic field. Jim Brown was a titan, which means he was larger than man. He was bigger and faster and stronger than everybody on the field. Considered by most experts as the greatest fullback ever to play the game, Jimmy's harder to bring down than a wild steer. Jim Brown is bigger than life. He feels competitive for justice as he was on the field for excellence. Here's a striking example of his individual brilliance. The creator said, I'm only going to do this one time and a very special player. Eight rushing titles in nine seasons. Three most valuable player awards. Over 12,000 rushing yards. 106 rushing touchdowns. All while never missing a game and retiring at the height of his career. talk about Bo Jackson, Marcus Allen, Eric Dickerson, Tony Dorsett, Walter Payton. There's not one trait that they had that he didn't have. He's one. He's one. Payton two. I fall three. <laughs> guys that are extremely strong uh, may not be as agile. Uh, some guys have all the speed in the world but may not have the balance. Jim had it all. His principal legacy is going to be what he accomplished as a football player. But Jim Brown was not principally a great football player. Jim Brown was a great man who just also happened to play a great game of football. Jim Brown was always in motion. Only the lens of a camera could stop him. He left indelible images on Hollywood and as a community activist, but first on the football field in a career that almost never happened at all. I came up in the 50s. Race was always an issue everywhere. And I was the only African American on the team. It was very difficult based upon the racial attitude of some people. After his arrival at Syracuse in 1953, a frustrated Brown rode the bench. I knew I was the best back there, and they were trying to tell me I wasn't. So I decided I was going to leave. Superintendent of my high school flew up there and told me that I bet not quit. Stick it out, and it'll work out. And he was right. As a senior, Brown was a unanimous All-American. Halfback Jimmy's first down, Brown picks up that and then some as he breaks loose on a spine-tingling open field gallop. And set a then NCAA single-game record by scoring 43 points 
in his final regular season appearance. In 1957, he took his talent to the NFL, where he fell to a team worthy of his name. Jim Brown was not number one on the draft list that year. Paul Brown wanted to take Lenny Dawson, a quarterback, and the quarterbacks he wanted were gone. I guess, well, I guess I'll just settle for Jim Brown. When you're a rookie, you have to step back, but I didn't have to do too much stepping back. In Brown's ninth game, he ran for a then NFL single game record, 237 yards, against the LA Rams. The coach liked me. I'll always remember. He said these words to me You are my running back. You are my running back. Those were uh, the sweetest words I ever heard as a professional football player. Brown's 1957 season was a debut like few in sports history. Rookie of the Year, MVP, a league rushing crown, and all pro honors. But that was just the beginning.